Hi, it's Chris here from the EQ Mod Project. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at uh, Peck Prep and its simulation uh, capability. Okay, I've started up Peck Prep. Uh, if we click on the simulation tab, it takes us to a pretty empty looking screen. Um, and on this screen, we can dial in our own periods and amplitudes and phases for signals. Uh, and thereby create simulation of uh, a periodic uh, waveform. Now the purpose of this screen is, is, is sort of more for education than anything else. Uh, it allows people to try things out and perhaps understand the way in which various signals of different periods and amplitudes can combine to create uh, quite strange looking, looking curves. And in that way you can kind of understand how a periodic error signal uh, comes about. Okay, to to use this screen, all we have to do is put some numbers in. Now, there are some um, scroll bars here that you can fiddle with, or you can simply click on the number and enter a number. So, let's uh, put in a a period of 479 seconds. Um, so, you can put any numbers you like in here. Give it an amplitude, say... 25 arc seconds. Uh, we'll leave the phase for the moment. And you can see that immediately draws a sine wave uh, based upon those parameters. Now we're going to add another one. Uh, now as soon as I add the other wave, you can see that the, the overall response starts to distort. It's, it's now uh, a modulated wave. So the, the two sine waves are, are, are interacting with each other um, and occasionally they reinforce to give bigger signals and occasionally they subtract to give a, a smaller signal. Now if we add another one um, You can see the, the shape of the waveform can can start to look quite quite strange, um, and although it's made up of, of of sine waves, you can see by looking at this there isn't really a, a repeatable pattern anymore. Um, okay, I guess you can say there's there's like a big peak, then two small ones, a big one, then two small ones, but then there's two big ones, one small one. Yeah, it's. Uh, None of these peaks that you see here, or not, none of these um, individual cycles, if you like, um, are identical. Okay, I'll put one more on. Now that's uh, looking like a, a, a typical uh, periodic error waveform for a uh, EQ6 Pro type mount, and indeed th these are the um, the, the significant uh, frequencies that I put in: um, 14, 479 being the worm, 366 being the transfer gear, 122 being the uh, stepper gear, and then. 10 seconds being the uh, period of the tooth-to-tooth uh, -to -tooth contact. Uh, and as you can see, uh, you can then play about with this. You can change the phases of things and see how that alters the shape of the waves. Perhaps experiment by saying, well, what happens if my, my stepper gear was uh, more prominent? And you can see that that, that makes a, a radically different signal. So if, if you see something that your P periodic error signal looks something like that, it's probably because your your stepper gear is, is, is contributing a significant amount of error. Um, as I say, basically it's just there so people can run simulations, um, do what ifs, what if this happened, what if that happened, um, and generate nice pretty pictures and, and, and graphs so they can communicate to, to other people. You can save your simulation uh, if you wish. So if if I want to save that, 
I can. My sim two, I think we'll call this one, because I've already got a my sim. Text. Uh, and then you can actually load that back into um, Pet Prep anytime you want. There's a load. Uh, simulation so you can actually load um, that file in uh, and when you load a sim simulation it takes you straight to the simulator tab 